What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I finally got my camera back, so I've been using my phone for the last few days. I apologize. Anyway, uh, I figured today was a, it's a fairly decent like milestone or step in my opinion. Um, let's see here, hold on, let me, let me minimize this. It's got some information on it. Um, but the big thing is that I wanted to talk about is I am finally retiring my laptop as my shop computer. So let me flip it around. And here is the trusty old, it's got an A8 in it, which if you know, trying to use that in 2024 is dreadful. Just doing basic tasks like surfing the internet and then printing out documents was becoming increasingly, increasingly harder and harder. So um, I threw together a parts bin little cheapo computer. Um, so this is basically just going to serve the purpose of uh, printing out orders, running YouTube whenever I need to, to watch some things, and um, entering in parts into inventory. Outside of that, it's really not going to be doing anything else. So uh, to break down the specs on this, this is a uh, V2 Xeon. So this is an 8-core uh, Xeon, it's a E5-2670 V2, so older 8-core, it's got 2 times 16 gigabyte sticks of DDR3, so 32 gigs of DDR3, and this thing is absolutely mopping the floor with this old AMD A8, but I mean, that's to be expected. It's way more cores, it's honestly uh, from about the same generation, just a huge step up in performance. As for graphics, we're just using this little GT 1030 that I have, or GTX. I don't know if it's a GT 1030 or GTX 1030, but it fits the bill of being a single slot and low profile, so that way this zip tie can go around and hold this cooler on. I didn't have a cooler that fits this X79 motherboard, so we made one work with a zip tie. It ain't pretty, but it works, and that's all I needed to do. Um, then you'll see right here, I talked about this on another video, I have a riser running over here mounted to the wall so I can put other cards in and test them out. I have another monitor over here so I can you know, plug in separate cards or I can drop this down and whatever I'm working on at the time, plug it in right here. Uh, but I was losing a lot of valuable workspace uh, because space is very limited here. So that's why I needed to get my laptop out of here. So. Go ahead and we'll close this bad boy down. I'm going to keep it just as a backup because my stuff is still logged into here. And um, I may take it to the house. I may take it to the house. So that way I can do orders and stuff at the house too because um, I tried to just keep it all here, but it's overflowing. So we'll go ahead and get this bad boy out of here. I'm going to get this laptop stand moved. And I got all kinds of junk in it because no, don't need a laptop stand without a laptop. You know what I mean? So we'll get that out of there, and then we got all this real estate. I talked about it in the past. I want to do a big mat to go over over top of this. Um, I think I'm going to go online and see if the Gamers Nexus has one that's big enough for this whole area. I'll measure it out because I just that'd be pretty cool to have a big Gamers Nexus mat. I've wanted one of them, but i uh, just never been able to pull the trigger on it. So let me get this all cleaned up, and we'll be right back. All right, so I have my work area cleaned off, and um, now it's time to get a computer ready to sell. So um, I actually sold this computer, and then he brought it back and wanted me to build a nicer computer. So he returned it, a, or aka traded it in, and now we're building him a cu custom computer, but it's one of my Alienwares. I've always had a hard time moving Alienware computers, even if they're like a good deal. But let me put it back up here. Let me wipe it because I have another individual that's interested in coming and purchasing it. And I don't know if the previous guy actually used it for much or anything, but just safer to just wipe it so we don't mix and match any datas. So let me grab that. There we go. Ugh. Flip that around. So this has an 87i7-8700K in it, 
and a GTX 1080 Ti. Still, oh, sorry about that. Still very capable uh, for doing, you know, some some moderate gaming in uh, in 2023, which is crazy to think a 1080 Ti is still not a bad card because those things have been doing great for a long time. Whoever bought a 1080 Ti is like. The graphics card got a lot of a lot of life out of theirs so it does have some stickers on it i'm not keen on the stickers but i'm gonna go ahead and get this powered up we'll get it wiped uh put a, a fresh copy of windows on it and hopefully they'll come and scoop this bad boy up all right so it is a busy busy day we just got an order that came in so i'm gonna pack order uh i think it's 1209 uh, and it looks like they got an i5-13400, so solid little i5. I believe those are, hold on, i5-13400. I wonder how many cores that is. I know that's like um, not super old, almost current gen. I think it's one generation old. So those are a 10 core. They have six performance cores and four efficiency cores, so... Let me get that bad boy packed up for you. Got her wrapped up in anti-static, then in bubble wrap, and then inside of a bubble mailer. I unfortunately don't have any of the CPU um, little boxes that fit the newer, like 12th gen and up uh, chips. So I probably need to get some of those made. I don't sell as many of those, so that's probably, it's not as, I don't need nearly as many, but um Definitely need some because it would save me on bubble wrap because it's surprising that 3D printed stuff is cheaper than buying rolls of bubble wrap. Uh, but yeah, so let's get back to the Alienware. Just got a fresh copy of Windows. I'm gonna, I am gonna went ahead and installed the NVIDIA drivers, GeForce Experience. Gonna run a full set of updates just so nobody has any issues. Um, the only thing, oh, and I'm getting a phone call. Let me be right back. All right, I am all over the place. So anyway, I added a bunch more little i3s and i5s to the in-stock uh, Intel chips. So go check those out. And I also, I'm gonna flip it around here. Um, I also changed the bc-pc.com website. So on the front page, the newest items will show up first. And as I add new items, it'll keep pushing the old ones down. Um, as they go out of stock, if they stay out of stock for more than a week, then they'll be archived, which means you guys won't be able to see out of stock items, but it keeps it on my website in case of returns and records and all that kind of stuff. Or if I get the same exact um, item back in the store, I can just add one to inventory and I don't have to put all the pictures in that kind of stuff so makes it kind of simple but um I think uh, I think I'm pretty much done for today I'm about to pack this up and I'm actually meeting with this individual because they can't meet here they're a little bit farther away and I told them hey you know I'm, I'm going home it's kind of on my way so we'll make it work uh, but yeah I got the Alienware system done fresh install fresh updated and she's ready to go. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Adios.